Hello guys, I'm back again with another tutorial and this will be about the death notice thing. As you can see on my videos, I can have, I can block others, other death notices and I can make it stay in there as long as I want. So I'm gonna show you what you need to do. First of all, you should open Outlife Advanced Effects and load it like we did the last time on the, my previous tutorial and you should load the demo the same way you used to load again once you load the demo you, you need to find the, the person you want to place and let's see the comment that we will be using so it's mir underscore test message and we will be using all the three comments the block, config and debug so first of all you need to write mirv death message debug space one and wait for the person you want to make a kill or to die so it needs to appear in the death notice so you can have his id let's wait So oh, here we have it, let's check our console and we, as you can see ID attacker is 7 If we look again, he's the last person who kills, he's the, he's the attacker so his ID will be 7 So let's start by writing mirv death message block exclamation point 7 which is our ID attacker and space asterisk to block everyone else so if you will see on the next round let's search again let's see if someone dies for a frag so you can see as you can see it's counter terrorist person has died and nothing appeared on the death notice it will only appear if our player kills someone that's the only way let's check more examples of this I'm gonna do this a bit in fast motion so uh, he actually didn't kill anyone so nothing will appear on the death notice except when he kills someone like I said so moving on let's check how we make the death notice time to be there so we will need to write mir death message config cfg and notice lifetime after we write that we should write the number in seconds of the time we want the death notice to be there so i'll make it 99 just for death you can make it lower or otherwise it will stay there 99 seconds let's Let's see if our player makes a kill. So here we go, he made a kill. The following round started and the death notice is still there. It will be there for 99 seconds. If you want the time to get back to normal, you should write the same comment but with a minus or dash one to revert to default time. Moving on, uh, I forgot to tell you, uh, to unblock, you should write, to unblock all the blocks you made, you should write mirror underscore death message block and clear. That will unblock all the previous persons you have blocked from the death notice and make it all back to normal let's see if it worked so as you can see the time is back to normal and the death notice is back to normal uh, this is it guys this is the tutorial I wanted to show you how to manipulate the death notices and I hope you like it bye